The water is the basis of life, and only a tiny share of all the water on Earth is fresh and renewed by the water cycle. If you took all the water in the world and put it into a gallon jug, less than one teaspoon of it would be available to us. We're overusing it. We're over tapping rivers and we're over pumping groundwater. We live at a time in history where over a billion people don't have access to safe drinking water and over three billion people have no access to sanitation. Water is a global issue, but it's also a very local issue. We forget that we live in a hydrosphere and that all of our water resources are connected. Water that runs in the Ganges could also end up in the Hudson, or could fall over the plains of Africa, or could make a cup of tea in the Queen's Palace. To support the average American lifestyle today takes about twice the global average. The Great American Lawn is a great example of one of the myriad of ways that we take water for granted. We can't continue to flaunt our water. Agriculture is something that we really need to give thought to. 70% of all the water we extract from rivers, lakes, and aquifers goes to irrigated agriculture. To some extent, we're using some of tomorrow's water to meet today's food demands. Large number of people I talk to, when they learn that the Colorado, the mighty force of nature, no longer reaches the sea, there's a look of shock in most people's faces. At the Delta, it literally runs dry. We are using and abusing our water resources in ways that are completely unsustainable. And unless we think about it that way, and we start taking action at an individual level, then I don't really see how we'll be able to overcome so many of the issues that we're going to be faced with in the next 50 years. And this is our time in history to do something about it.